All right, guys, welcome back. Today, we're going to be talking about the two best builds for the Server Slam weekend for the Barbarian. Now, there have been some impressive updates to the Barbarian since the last beta. A flat 10% passive damage reduction has been added, and the skill tree passives that grant damage reduction effects have been reduced to compensate, and we'll be taking a look at some of those. Also, the Whirlwind skill will now deal more damage and consumes more fury, and last, Double Swing will refund its full fury cost when used on stunned or knocked down enemies. Now, what's great about this is that some of the builds that were already really great for Barbarian are going to be buffed because Whirlwind was already kind of Barbarian's best skill if you ask me and now it's even better and then we're also going to be taking a look at double swing i've made two builds one based off whirlwind one based off double swing so we can check out those improvements and i found some really sweet synergies so let's take a look at the double swing build first so we start with Lunging Strike. I think this is probably one of the strongest primary skills, basic skills. Does 30% damage. We'll get Enhanced Lunging Strike to give you some heals and deal increased damage when it does damage to a healthy enemy. And then Battle Lunging Strike. It'll also cause 20% bleeding damage over 5 seconds. Now it's a really tough choice. If you want to go for this, uh, I think this will be better endgame. But if you're just starting out, I would actually get Combat Lunging Strike. Now the reason I'm, I have this one selected for the bleeding effect is because we're in... We're going to get Aspect of Anemia. This is a guaranteed drop from the Core Dragon Barracks and Fractured Peaks. Lucky hit direct damage against bleeding enemies. Have a 31 to 40% chance to stun them for two seconds. This is really important because over here, Enhanced Double Swing. This is what was buffed. If Double Swing damages a stunned or knocked down enemy, it's going to refund its full Fury cost. So that was the update before it was just 15 Fury. So there's a ton of synergy with basically being able to infinitely use Double Swing by initially causing a bleeding effect and then... And once they get stunned from Aspect of Anemia over and over, uh, because anytime you deal direct damage to a bleeding enemy and you can double swing into them. So your double swing can, can stun enemies and you're getting the full refund cost off if they're stunned. Uh, and then here, casting double swing while berserking will give you two extra seconds of berserking. And so if you're able to just cast over and over double swing, you can basically perpetually be berserking and perpetually stunning your enemy, which is really, really cool. Just It's basically a stun bleed build that is in berserking all the time. Very, very exciting about the potential uh, power of double swing now that it fully refunds the ability. Um, and, and we're basically going to build around this stun mechanic. So we're going to get ground stomp, smash the ground, which does an AOE stun, which is perfect for double swing to get fully refunded. So that's another source of consistent stuns. Increases the duration by one second. Perfect. And then it also generates some fury just in case it's not getting refunded for whatever reason. And then we're going to move over to our brawling skills. We're going to get kick because it's not just stunned. It's also knocked down. See, so it says stunned or knocked down enemy. We get, you know, get your fury back. Um, so we're going to get kick, which knocks players down. Uh, it also can stun them for three seconds. And then here, damaging enemies with kick makes them vulnerable for four seconds. That's 20% increased damage, which is really good. And then we got mighty kick. Kicked enemies deal 54% damage to enemies they collide with while being knocked back. Enemies damage this way are knocked down for two seconds. Knocked down is great for enhanced double swing. So again, everything building around uh, double swing. We're also going to get war cry. Increases damage dealt by 15%. It's just really good. Definitely a, a good shout to get. And then war cry grants you berserking for four seconds seconds. So basically the way this works is you're going to start the fight with war cry and then start spamming double swing so that that berserking just continues for pretty much forever. Hopefully by the time you finally run out of enemies to kill with double swing, your war cry is off cooldown. And so you're basically, hopefully you were berserking the entire time because of this combo. Now, the reason I was saying you, instead of getting battle lunging strike at first, because it has such great uh, synergy with aspect of anemia, you could get combat lunging strike. And it says your critical strikes with lunging strike grant you berserking for 1.5 seconds. So it can help you get started with that berserking and then continue it with spamming double swing, which will make your berserking last longer and longer. So you could start with that until you get aspect of anemia. And, and then I would switch over to get that bleed synergy with uh, stunning enemies with direct damage that are bleeding. So that is sort of the transition you make. I like charge here. It gives you a source of unstoppable, which is important. Knocks, knocks them back. Enemies that are knocked back into terrain are stunned for three seconds. Again, just focusing around all sorts of stuns. And uh, this will reduce the cooldown charge by three seconds if it knocks an enemy into terrain. So you can use charge even even uh, even more. Now, some of the passive abilities I'd recommend you don't get are things like imposing presence. Right now, it says 5% additional max life per point, but once we get into the beta, we're, we're probably going to see some of these nerfed. Like, I imagine this is nerfed. Damage reduction against elites increased by 4%. I bet that's going to be something like 2% now. Like, it was all nerfed, right? So, I would probably stay away from nerfed skills, personally, but maybe it's still good. We're just going to have to wait and see. But this is basically the build I put together. You're going to have charge. You're going to have 
have War Cry, Kick, Ground Stomp, and Double Swing along with Lunging Strike. And so there's just a ton of synergy, and you're going to be using, you know, Double Swing pretty much all the time, so I'll put three points into it. Again, you know, when you're only level 20, you don't have a lot of points to work with, but I thought this was pretty good. And then depending on whatever build you're, you're playing on, you're always going to want Aspect of Unrelenting Fury. You can get this from Fractured Peaks guaranteed. Killing an enemy with a core skill refunds 10 to 20% of its base fury cost. It can only happen once per skill cast. You can get this in the Hollowed Ossuary in Fractured Peaks. So this is going to help you continue to you keep using uh, double strike, uh, double swing, I should say, as much as you possibly can without having to worry about running out of fury. And that's the build. And uh, this is the double swing build. And again, we don't know how good it's going to be. This is just a test. We want to see how good it is now that it's going to refund full fury. I imagine it could be very, very good, though. All right, let's talk about the other build, the Whirlwind build. This one uh, I'm pretty excited for because I'm pretty sure it's going to be good no matter what. I mean, Whirlwind skill now deals more damage and consumes more fury. Honestly, in the beta, it already was pretty darn good. Of course, you know, needed some legendary aspects to get there, but now it's even better. Again, I'm going to start with Lunging Strike, then get Enhanced Lunging Strike for that heal and bonus damage. And then we're going to get Whirlwind. Uh, of course, we're going to be pumping points into this because it just got buffed and I want to see how, how much more damage it does. We're going to get Enhanced Whirlwind so that it gets one, you gain one fury each time it deals damage. And then we've got Violent Whirlwind. After using Whirlwind for two seconds, Whirlwind deals 30% increased damage until it is canceled. Huge. And then that ties perfectly with, of course, our aspect of Unrelenting Fury, which refunds 10 to 20% of the base fury cost whenever you kill an enemy with it. So you're going to be getting lots of fury back as you play this build. Moving over here, we're going to get Rallying Cry. Increases movement speed by 30%, so you can, you know, Whirlwind faster between enemies and resource regeneration by 50%. Very, very nice. And then we're going to get Rallying Cry to make us unstoppable, and we're also going to have it generate fury. And then we're actually going to get Challenging Shout. I, I'm not really sure which other uh, ability to get. We need six, and I, I really could only come up with like five. I thought Challenging Shout could be good just for additional damage reduction, since you're just going to be spinning into hordes of enemies. It could be useful to use Challenging Shout right before you start spinning into a crowd of enemies. And then over here we have War Cry, it increases your damage dealt by 15%. Another great shout to use right before you get into combat, and then Enhanced War Cry to give you Berserking for four seconds. I also got Leap here. Uh, this is going to help you get around and also if it, you know if it doesn't hit any enemies it's reduced by four seconds so it increases your mobility quite nicely and if it damages at least one enemy you get 40 fury so very very effective to just kind of bounce around and continue doing damage and generating fury i also got pit fighter here three out of three you deal nine percent increased damage to close enemies and gain six percent damage reduction now this is probably a passive that got nerfed i imagine it's not still six percent damage reduction it's probably something like three who knows for sure but um i'm sure the nine percent increased damage is still there and barbs are pretty much always melee and so nine percent damage increase is great. I think this build is solid. I think you can use this build uh, without doubts that it'll be good, especially since Whirlwind was just buffed, and you've al also got that flat 10% passive damage reduction that's been added to the class. So I think this build is super safe. I think that this double swing build is a little more experimental uh, within the fact that like we don't know if it's going to be the super good, but I think it can be, especially since it fully refunds uh, the full fury cost when it's used against a stunned or knocked down enemy. I think there's a lot of potential there. Anyways, those are the two builds that I recommend you try out during the Server Slam weekend if you're planning on playing a Barbarian. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for more Diablo 4 videos. I'll see you in the next one real soon.